Welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Just want to take a moment of your time to personally invite you to our Tuesday morning, 8 a.m. community Zoom rosaries. We just had one this morning, and honestly, it was so beautiful, and I was so moved that in the middle of it, I just thought to myself, I need to reach out to everybody virtually and uh, welcome them personally. You know, it's really all about relationship, and it's relationship with ourselves, it's relationship with, about, um, with each other, and it's relationship with Jesus. So first and foremost, you know, if there's anything that I've learned, um, one of the greatest strengths of my family here in Linfield is relationships. Um, everyone in this town has such a big heart, and, you know, it's really... That's what it's about, right? Even life. It's just all about our relationships with our family and with our friends. And our faith community is exactly that. We're a family and, and we're friends. So by joining this rosary, we're really nurturing the relationships of those three aspects, ourselves, our one another, and with Jesus. First, with ourself. It's really a matter, the way we nourish our body, we have to Consider all aspects of the human person, ourselves, mind, body, and spirit. So it's really an opportunity to nourish our spirits when we engage in prayer. And when we engage in prayer with each other, we're nourishing those relationships. We're lifting each other up. We're encouraging one another. We're supporting one another. And honestly, in the times that we find ourselves living in, that we find our children living in, uh, there's no more important time I know in my life ever uh, to have a strong faith, to stay focused on the hope that we have as Christians, the truth that we stand upon, that there is a God who loves us and holds us in the palm of his hand. And these are things that we, you know, remind one another, encourage one another, and it's it's so beautiful. And again, I know one of the strengths of Linfield is, is the love that we all share for for one another. So what a beautiful platform to be able to express that love um, and what a real platform while we are nourishing each other's spirits. And then last, certainly not least, and honestly most importantly, our relationship with Jesus. When we come together and we pray this rosary, we're really meditating on the life of Jesus, how he loves us, and, um, and it's also helpful while praying with others, it even helps us to discern. I mean, if we believe, which is what we do as Christians, that Jesus is alive and that he wants a personal relationship with each one of us, you know, we need to really discern what what is Jesus speaking to us at this time? What does he want for our lives? What does he want from my personal relationship with him? Just like a family member or a friend, you know, what does that friend want from me? What do they need from me? What do I want to provide for them in this relationship. Same with our family members. The same is true for Jesus. You know, it's a mutual relationship. He does and gives so much to us. And what, what is he asking from us in return? So in praying, we get to praise him as he deserves, but also it helps in the discernment process of, of what is Jesus really speaking to me in this day and time? Uh, I know that something was shared during our rosary today, one of the participants had shared while praying the fourth sorrowful mystery, which is the carrying of the cross, she had reminded all of us that, you know, we are all carrying the individual crosses that we're meant to carry right now, just as Jesus carried his cross. And it was just so beautiful to me. This is just an example, but it was so beautiful to me because it just reminded me, like, you know, that's so true. Like, the, the struggles and challenges that I'm going through right now, my family, my friends, like it's not an accident. It's not a mistake. And most importantly, it's not unknown to God. Like we're all carrying, I, I'm not sure if any of you ever heard that whole little um, analogy, you know, we all have our cross and Jesus says something like, uh, oh, how does it go? But anyway, something to the effect like, you know, you get to go into a room with all these other crosses, and it's like, okay, would you not like to carry your cross? Would you like any of these? And then as you start to look around, you think to yourself, no, I'm good. I'll stick with the cross that I have. It's in, and it's true. The cross that we have, it's no accident. And Jesus is allowing the things that he's allowing to help us grow in our spirituality. Just like Jesus carried his cross and had to go through what he went through. In the end, he was victorious, came out stronger, 
and it's the same with us. So um, kind of diverted a little bit there, but it, it, there's just so much to say, and it just goes so deep, and it's just so beautiful. So I want to welcome you. If, uh, if you can, just please click on the link below, email me, put rosary in the subject line, and I will be thrilled to send you an email on Monday night with the Zoom link and any um, questions you may have, I'm happy to answer. So may God bless you, praise be Jesus, and I hope to see you soon via Zoom. All right, thank you. Bye-bye.